morning fellas it's 8 15 we're about 68 in the garage and high clouds a little cool out got that to go take fill and I have this out so I can start heating the garage we are going to work on the upper valence or the header panel or whichever you want to call it I'm going to close the garage door once I get that propane tank fill and we get this thing up to about 70 degrees we're going to pull this thing out of here and uh, we're going to paint that valence get some body work done on it and paint the valence uh, Kenny Street Rider 100 went back to uh, Southern Cal uh, I guess yeah, he texted me yesterday and said he was heading back until after the holidays so uh, Kenny I hope you had a safe trip and look forward to seeing you once you get back into town uh, as far as me uh, hold on let me turn this around uh, let's find a spot where I can As far as me is, uh, last August I decided to go ahead and retire from the city of Anderson. And so I am going to, uh, my last working day is January 9th. Actually my last working day is Tuesday, January 6th. And then Wednesday and Thursday I got to use two floating holidays and Friday will be a bank day, banked holiday that I got to use. They won't pay me for it. So either you use it or lose it. Uh, I just had enough. I made a promise to myself a long time ago that when it got uh, no fun to get up in the morning and, and not looking forward to going to work, then there's no point in doing it anymore. I'm not quitting working by no stretch of the imagination. Uh, a couple of local sprinkler contractors have expressed interest in my expertise on fire sprinkler systems to do their quarterly inspections and I might pursue that, but uh, I now work uh, four days a week and I'm off three. We are going to switch that up. We, I am going to be off four days and only work three. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. It'll give me more time in the garage and do things around here that I want to do. And uh, that's about it. So, what we have in store, and I'm off this week, so what we have in store is once we get the valence painted and that back on the car, I'm going to put this thing up on jack stands and the winter project was the brake system and uh, once I get it up and get all the wheels off and everything else I'll do a video and explain what uh, what transpired over the about the brakes and everything else and uh, we'll go from there so as always thanks for watching when I have more I'll turn this back on later all right fellas it's going on two and we're still about 68 in the garage Still haven't got the propane changed out. I did get a coat of mud on the end here. And same on this side here. Wife came home from work and we gathered up all the old VHS tapes and went and donated them all. So she's in a cleaning mode right now. And I'm not really pressed about it because of uh, I'm off for the next week. So uh, later on I'll come back out and sand this off. But I'm going to end this for today and uh, just continue it on tomorrow's tape or tomorrow's video tape I guess I got VHS tape on my mind so as always thanks for watching uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow later guys morning fellas it's Sunday uh, see about 930 and we're about 68 in the garage and uh, like I showed you yesterday, I got the first coat of mud on the, the upper valence or the header piece, and it's dry. I'll probably sand that off later on this afternoon. I'm not going to paint it. I looked at the 10-day forecast, and uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, we're going to be in the 70s. So rather than firing up that thing, I will be able to paint it with uh, Mother Nature's heat. In the meantime, I am going to get... Let me get this off of here. I'm going to get the lower valence, and you see the box is over here, or the upper valence, excuse me. I'm going to get that original upper valence. I'm going to pack it away in these boxes here, and I'm going to send it off to Nick, uh, a real rat. 
I think there's a trunk drop down there somewhere. I'm going to put that in the box. And also laying out the rear, where is it? The rear backup lights. I have a set of plans on doing that, and I'm going to give Nick a copy of those too as well. So this is going to be an ongoing video, and I'll probably put it up right before Thanksgiving is uh, what I do in the garage this week. Uh, like I said yesterday, I'm off until Tuesday, December 2nd, so, and uh, I've been slowly gathering up stuff and moving it out of the garage and cleaning it up and getting ready to uh, get this thing up on jack stands and get all four tires off it so we can just start with the brakes. So, as always, thanks for watching, and when I have more guys, I'll turn this back on later. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to get that trunk drop in this box. This is pretty well got the front valence in, or the upper valence in, or the header, or whatever you call it. So there's no way I'm going to get that. But I'm going to unroll one of these. I'll show you what one of these are. Hold on. Okay, fellas. See, it tells you where to mark the backup lights on the rear lower fascia. Then they give you this. Let's say holes located from wooden template. And here's the wooden template that they give you. So, yeah, I'll give Nick a couple of these. I took him to work and, uh, and had, uh, had him make copies for me. But, uh, yeah, this gives you everything. And again, it's for 67 to 68 miles. So, yeah, that's all I'm doing today is getting this ready. Tomorrow, I got a buddy, like Richard. He's a, he's a retired electrician. He's the one that ran all this conduit here that you see going for the... Uh, we put the uh, outside coach lights on. And... You can see up there he did this and we added these two fluorescents and he added the four plexes right there in the tool bench and he's got one at this end well you see the extension cord here goes up right down all the garbage ex excess goes over over and plugs into the garage door opener we're going into this box here and we're going to make this an outlet so I can plug the garage door opener right here and do away at the extension cord. And that's what we're doing. It's quite breezy out today. I don't know if you could probably pick up the wind through the mic on the, on the camera. But as you see, our leaves are starting to turn colors. You know, what we get about 30, 45 days behind the Midwest. But next week we're going to be in the 70s, so that's why I'm holding off paint and firing that thing up. So I'll get this all boxed up for Nick, and uh, when I have more, I'll turn this back on later. Hey, fellas, uh, let's see. Header's back here. Sanding block is out. Uh, that's one of the extra sides I made. We don't need that anymore. Uh, get rid of that mix box is all boxed up ready to go and looks like I'm gonna trash unless somebody wants it and they're willing to pay for shipping I'll give it to anybody that's willing to I'll box it up I'll run it on my own time my own dime but anybody who wants to pay for shipping just send me a PM. Uh, this is a, uh, let's see, right side rocker skin. And the trunk drop. Let's see, what side would that be? Uh, let's see. Be a right side trunk drop, too. Okay. Does it say on it? 
Yeah, right hand side, right there. So anybody wants it, uh, I'll box it up, I'll send it to you. You just gotta pay for shipping. So, uh, both of them, if not, then they're going in the trash because I'm not, I have no use for them and I'm trying to get crap out of my garage. So, we are gonna be sanding on this and getting this ready and then uh, then we'll put the, we'll get it ready and, and we'll prime it during next week. Like I said, next week we'll be back up in the 70s. No need for that. And uh, we get working out here. You know, we're not even you know, 60, 64. Matrix says, what does Dale say? Dale says about 64 too. So, all right, when I have more, I'll turn this back on later. All right, fellas, I got this in 120 scratch, so it's ready to go, except I got, if you see it right there, I gotta fill that right there and right there, and also the same thing at this end. So, but basically the whole thing's down to in 120 scratch, so wipe it down, fill it, get take care of these ends, and uh, hang it from the hook and we're gonna paint it. Uh, we're gonna load this up here in a minute. I was thinking of doing it until Wednesday, but uh, you know, to show you what I've been doing all week and I just figured now nah, to heck with it. Cleaned off the drill press. I had a lot of small clamps here from upstairs out of the model room that I was using to, to uh, when we were clamping the tail light panel back on and I took them back upstairs so more or less what I'm doing is just basically cleaning up the garage straightening it up uh, pulled the cover off and pulled the wires out so that you can see this is probably the circuit we're going to tie into because it uh, it feeds the plugs and uh, <clears throat> that's what we want to do is we want to be able to uh, just put an outlet right here so we can plug you can see as it goes into the garage door opener here so we can plug the garage door opener in here and I can get a, get rid of this the orange extension cord that goes down and around and up and over and plugs into the garage door opener so that's all I got for now. So as always, thanks for watching. You guys have a good Sunday evening, and uh, we'll pick this up. I'm off all next week, so there'll be some, probably some videos during the week. Uh, we're supposed to get into the uh, upper 60s, more into the 70s next week, so that's why I'm holding off and painting this, and uh, I'll have videos then. So you guys have a good evening. Take care. Later.